highest good creating. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 158. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 158, April 3rd, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all of the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the summer lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of summer. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of the written part of the summer lesson plan, bringing that to 100% complete. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the cooperation and collaboration lesson plan and added the theme icons to the website. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Food finalized the organization of the streamlined version of our Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page, which includes contributions provided by naturopathic doctor Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. This week, we had a final additional pioneer proofread and edit the page. The page has now officially launched. The one community approach to Highest Good Housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was determining and describing step-by-step -step applications of polyethylene to various locations within the FFF CAD drawing, particularly focusing on the footer and the water barrier separation between the foundation gravel bags and earth bags. We'd say we are now 75% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, also designed the details you see here for the various recreation spaces, including outside play area details, game room details both inside and outside, arts and crafts structure details both inside and outside, and more. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 13 of this work that continued with shade structure design and placement. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here is the second render for the kids' playroom, now with enhanced colors, pictures on the walls added using Photoshop, and other aesthetic details. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also created these new render refs in version 2.0 of the updated layout proposal for a new graphic to share the features of the Travel Bay Atrium that is the center of the Earth Bay Village Pod 1.
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the renders for the Duplical City Center. Here you can see this final high-quality dining dome render. And these pictures show the second floor rendering scene, where we updated the scenery background, adjusted the shadows, and set up textures for the furniture, floor, and musical instruments. Bupesh Sithala, interior designer, also finished his part of the work for the natural pool and spa mechanical room details. Here you see a finished render of this room covered in stone and featuring a waterfall. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team added the tutorial you see here for helping anyone who joins us to do research for the Open Source and Patents Defensive Publishing Cost Research page. This tutorial was created by Oz Zersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law. We also made final edits and continued the multi-hour reorganization of the icons designed by graphic designer Ivan Monzeroff. The icons we finished and organized this week were the highest good food and highest good education icon shown here. We'd say we're now about 40% done with this graphics task. The core team additionally updated the One Community Now page to include the specifics you see here, discussing how we organize virtually and what we're focusing on now, why we're focusing on what we are, and how this applies to securing funding. Richard Tanzer, patent agent, also continued editing our open source patents page. The original page was created by Oz Zersky, and here you see Richard's second round of updates and edits happening behind the scenes. We'd say Richard is about 30% done with the complete page edit and update. One community is highest good creating for the betterment of our planet and all living things on it. Our path to creating global transformation and highest good creating for the benefit of everyone in our lifetime is to create a self-replicating model of teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are sustainable, self-sufficient, and designed to be duplicated through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions that we are providing. Everything that we do is open source, and we're taking the foundations of sustainability that are food, energy, and housing, and we're combining them with the foundations of what we consider to be emotional sustainability, which are high school education, high good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. We're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability, and we're open sourcing and free sharing all of them, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the fulfilled living models, the economics, the true earth stewardship, everything, all the aspects of what we're doing so it can be replicated as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub. We call this a solution model designed to create additional solution creating models. And we see it as highest good creating because we are constantly thinking with the consciousness for the highest good of all and bringing together people that believe in thinking for the consciousness of the highest good of all. People that want to create for the betterment of everyone and everything. And we're doing our best to do that. Doesn't mean that we know what is the best or that we're ideological about it, saying, hey, this is the way that it should be done, or this is the way, this is the best way. Instead, we're saying, hey, let's think for the consciousness of the highest good of all. Let's do our best. Let's evolve and grow as we learn and continue to constantly focus on that and work towards that. Let's invite other people to participate. And in so doing, we can take this idea of highest good creating and create a self replicating model. Ultimately, our goal to make it self-replicating, our foundation of success, is making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough to implement all of the things that we're doing, either as the individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub. It really doesn't matter because everything we do and create is to the best of our ability for the highest good. If people implement that, instead of just implementing something without any consciousness or thought behind how to do it, if they're implementing the things that we're creating, we see that as a step in the right direction. If they're taking our open source plans and evolving them and branching them off in different directions, that's a step in the right direction. And ultimately, we want to take that and create a suite of different iterations and versions of everything that we're doing as we build the global collaborative of people organizing and working together to create for the highest good.
So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds like something interesting that you'd like to be a part of, get involved. We've got lots of different ways to do that. Everything from the pioneers to just consulting as a volunteer to just sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks. We're on Pinterest and Tumblr and Reddit and Twitter and on LinkedIn, of course, Facebook, Sue. We're on all the different social media networks, about 15 others, to make it as easy as possible to share our information because we are working towards that tipping point of highest good consciousness where we can permanently and positively transform our world for the benefit of everybody so that we can touch the lives of every single person on this planet. And if you run the numbers, if you consider the possibility of 50 people getting together and building something like one community that is meant to expand to 500 and then to 2000 and then beyond as a complete sustainable city, working for the highest good of all, open sourcing and free sharing everything that it is. If you run the numbers and you just consider a group of 50 people creating something that 50 more would like to replicate the next year and then 100 more the year after that, meaning two groups of 50, and then four groups, and then eight groups, and then 16 groups, just with 50, we could transform our planet within our lifetime by doing that. If those groups of 50 are like ours, building multiple sustainable villages and wanting to grow one community or the teacher demonstration hub that they design to hundreds of people, thousands of people, the process becomes much faster. And even if we're wrong, we're moving in the right direction and making a difference. But we believe that this is possible within our lifetime because the numbers support it if we can create a self-replicating model. And so this is what we're up to. This is our big focus right now, is getting together the people, the managers, the team, constantly inviting people to participate in what it is that we're doing as we continue to build towards being shovel ready. And then secondarily to that, seeking the large scale funding that's necessary to get the property that we've been working with now for five years, the relationship that we've already built with the county, to take that to the next level by securing that property, taking it off the market, either through a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or through investment in what one community is all about and what we're doing. So we can share that location, multiply our team even faster, finish our blueprints and continue open sourcing everything exponentially faster and start inviting people to come and participate and build and ultimately lead to where we're going with all this, which is one community hosting hundreds of thousands of people annually coming out, experiencing what it is that we're doing. Look at how we're creating for the highest good and what that involves in the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economic model, the fulfilled living practices, all those things stewarding the land. And if people like what they see, if they want to participate, having a diversity of ways to do that, which includes replicating everything that we're creating for your own benefit and use. This is what one community is doing. So as always, I'd like to say thanks for following our progress. Thank you for the emails we get. Thank you for sharing your information on social media. Thank you for the little donations that we get, the $5, the $10. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. None of us are paid. I'm not paid. Nobody else that's working for one community is paid for anything that we're doing. We're all doing it as volunteer work. So the little donations help to cover the expenses, which are pretty large for a global organization like ours. And they're really appreciated. And of course, the shares and the things like that are what make what we're doing possible. They get the word out so that more and more people can participate in what it is that we're doing, get involved in a way that works best for them, or just use our information for personal benefit. All of that is good. That's why we're an open source organization. So without further ado, once again, I'll say one more thank you. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.